Okay, folks, we are talking about Christianity cross-examined by philosopher, professor, and a theologian, Kenneth Samples. Um, Mr. Samples, you talked about new atheists in your book. Mm -hmm. Can you describe them for us? Yeah, uh, I mean, one of the reasons I wrote the book is to respond to the new atheists, and I, I want to say a couple things about them. Um, when I was studying philosophy uh, in college decades ago, I studied what I would call the old atheists. Uh, that is, I, I had to study Bertrand Russell. I had to study Jean-Paul Sartre, the French existential atheist. Um, I had to study J.L. Mackey, the Oxford atheist. Uh, and of course, I studied Friedrich Nietzsche, the famous G German atheist. And I found the old atheists more formidable. Now, let me let me contrast that with what we call the new atheists. They're often described as the four horsemen of the new atheists. Uh, this would be people like Christopher Hitchens, uh, Richard Dawkins, Daniel Dennett, Sam Harris. But I would put others in that category. Peter Atkins, the at Oxford University. I would add Mary, maybe Jerry Coyne, uh, an American biologist. Now, I'm going to say that I think the old atheists were more formidable, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, I think the new atheists, they don't understand Christianity very well, and they often misrepresent Christianity, and uh, they rely on uh, satire and ridicule. Um, Whereas the old atheists, uh, and I would put A.J. Eyre in that category, the British analytical philosopher as well in the, in the old atheists, the old atheists, I think, focused more on arguments. And I think the old atheists were more formidable because they had to study Christianity. I mean, Friedrich Nietzsche, his father was a Lutheran minister. His father died at, at uh, an early age, and Nietzsche would say things like, well, if you want me to believe in your redeemer, or won't you act a little more redeemed? That is, I think the old atheists understood Christianity. They stayed with arguments. And in that sense, they understood the potential weaknesses of Christianity. Unfortunately, um, I don't think uh, Hitchens and Dawkins and Harris uh, and Dennett I don't think that they demonstrate that they have a depth of understanding. And I think if you're going to critique somebody else's worldview, you need to immerse yourself in it. And I've tried to do that. I've tried to very carefully study atheistic naturalism. Uh, I've tried to look at Islam. I've tried to look at uh, Eastern mysticism. Uh, it's not to say I know everything about them because I don't, but uh, Dr. Paul, I like to practice what I call the golden rule of apologetics. And what that means is I try to treat other people's beliefs the way I treat mine. That doesn't mean I accept other people's beliefs, but I try to treat them respectfully. I try to be fair minded. I try to quote the best sources. I try to ensure that I don't misrepresent them. And so, um, I would like to uh, encourage people to take a look at my book and see if they think I do a good job of that. 